Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Trade Head Explanation. In this video, we are going to cover a unit before you start from the module or a components basics. So this is the very first unit of this module and here this module basically covers the aura components, uh, how we can create them, uh, what all uh, code that we will be putting up in the coming up units challenge but before we start there is this before you start a unit where we have to specify or create some objects that will be required in order to complete further units so let's quickly launch our trailer playground so basically we will be creating two objects over here one by the name of expense and another will be camping item. So I have already launched my trailhead playground and then go to gear like icon, go to setup. Now here we have to select object manager and I'm going to create a new uh, object. So click on create on your far right and select custom object from here. Now the first object that we have to create is by the name expense. So I will copy this and plural name has to be expenses. So let's go back up here, label, I will paste this here. Again, I will paste this here with an S added. Object name will be expense. Moving on, API name will be expense underscore underscore C. So uh, that will be uh, self-created once we will save this object. Then uh, that's all we had to create in order to create a new uh, custom object by the name of expense. So let's quickly save this. Now, next up, uh, we have to create four custom fields on our expense object. So the very first field will be of type amount, uh, sorry, will be type of number and the field that we have to label it with the amount name. So let's go back here go to fields and relationships click on new now here uh, the type data type that we are going to select will be number so if i scroll a little bit more uh, towards downward there is this number data type click on number and click on next label i'm going to paste it over here then length is supposed to be 16 and decimal places has to be 2 so let's go back change this to 16 and decimal places to two. Field name will be amount. That is all, that's all we have to do over here. Click on next. Uh, make sure this field is visible to system admin. So this checkbox again, system admin has to be checked in a visible column. Just click on next and click on save and new. As we have another field by the name client and this data, this field will have data type of text. Length is going to be 50. So scroll a little bit towards downwards. There is this uh, text data type. Select this and click on next. Paste this in the label text area. Length has to be 50. So I will type 50 over here. Click on next. Again, make sure under a visible column, admin has the uh, visibility for this field, click on next again and click on save and new. So this page layout has to be selected in order to see this field on the page layouts. Then uh, date is another field that we have to create. So I will copy this name again from here and type will be date. So scroll a little bit. There is this date data type selected. Click on next, paste the label in the label text area. Name will be auto populated. Click on next. Again, this field has to be visible to system admin. Click on next again. Make sure it is kept on the layout, then click on save and new. And the last field that we have to uh, create is of type checkbox. And the name that we are going to give is reimbursed. So let's go back here. Select this checkbox data type, click on next. Paste this in the field label text area. Uh, Field name will be auto populated. Uncheck is by default selected, so we are not going to change it. Just click on next. Again, make sure system admin has visibility for this field. Click on next again. This page layout has to be selected. Click on save. So these were the four fields that we have to create for our expense object. 
Now, the next object that we have to create is camping item. So I will just copy this again from here. And let's go back to object manager. Click either you can click on this uh, hyperlink over here, or you can just go to this tab object manager. So uh, click on this create and select custom object again. Name, I'm going to paste it, which I have copied from the challenge. Make sure you avoid any extra spaces. Uh, otherwise, you might run into errors. Then a plural name, I'm going to simply copy it from here and paste it in the plural label text area. That's all uh, we had to do in order to create our second object. Just click on save. Now, the next thing we are going to do is we have to create, again, uh, custom fields. There are three fields this time. So the first field that we have to create is by the label quantity. And the data type is going to be number. So let's go back here and click on fields and relationship. Click on new. Then scroll a little bit where you will find this uh, number data type. Select it. Click on next. Field label, I'll paste it, the quantity field, avoid any extra spaces while copying the label or the name uh, from challenge. Length has to be 18, decimal places has to be zero and required has to be checked. So let's go back there. So length is already 18, decimal places is already zero. And we have to check this checkbox over here, which is required, which signifies that always require a value. This field is mandatory in order to save a, rec a record. So that's why this checkbox has to be selected. Click on next. Then this field is visible to system admin by default. Just click on next. And here also, this is coming as already checked. So just click on save and new. Now, next field that we have to create is by the labeled price. So I will copy this. Then uh, the data type that we have to select is type currency. So I will go back here and select currency from this data type list and then click on next. Field label, this we have to just simply paste it over here. And the length will be 16 decimal places has to be Two and required is equal to be checked. So let's go back. This is supposed to be 16. The decimal places has to be two and required checkbox has to be checked. But before that, uh, let's go back. Uh, I mean, just before, without checking this required checkbox, just click on next. You will find that this checkbox is editable. These checkbox are editable over here in the visible section. And if you cl uh, click on next uh, for the next uh, page layout screen, this is also editable. That means we can, uh, it's up to us whether we want to keep it on this page layout or we want it to visible to certain profiles or not. So that is uh, completely upon us. But once I make this field required, by checking this checkbox over here, as it is mentioned that we have to check it. So I've done this as per the challenge. Now, if I go to next, these checkboxes are by default checked. We cannot edit them. So this is because we have made the field required, same as with the page layout. Uh, that's I want. This is the concept that I wanted to show you that since the field we have made it required, that is why it uh, takes away the ability for us to uh, edit these settings. So just click on save and new. And the last field that we have to create is tagged. This is uh, this will be of type checkbox. Default value has to be unchecked and name will be auto-populated, a label we have co already copied. So let's go back and click on checkbox, select checkbox data type, click on next. Field label, I'm going to paste it. Unchecked is already selected. Name will be auto-populated. Click on next. Make sure it is visible to system admin uh, by making sure this checkbox is checked against system admin profile. Click on next. I'm going to keep it on the page layout and just click on save. So this was the last field of our second custom object. And that's all we had to do for this very first challenge, which is before you start. So the name itself signifies that we are preparing the structure, object structure 
for our coming units challenge. So just click on check challenge button and hopefully we should be able to pass all the parameters in order to pass this challenge. So this unit is completed. I'll see you in the next video with another module or unit. Till then, take care. Thank you for watching.